have I not had the glamour and you want to come and watch me perform anything? Don't know why. So anyways, I'm going to tell a story that uh, is very important to me. And it all began when I was born in a magical shoebox. And my mother, she was very happy to see me. Alive! <laughs> and it was from that day on that I began to slow, I began to grow. I mean, slower than any fatal virus known to man, which is a good thing. And uh, as I grew, I had a father who began to teach me how to fight. And he taught me many special maneuvers. He taught me how to fight gingivitis with a toothbrush. <laughs> and my teeth, they personally thanked me for it. With 35 cavities in each individual tooth. What can I say? I was never a very good listener. But unfortunately, one day while my father was at war, he unfortunately died. And for me, I didn't mourn for too long because my mother, he, when after my father died, she immediately replaced him. So I had a brand new father to take care of me. Didn't need the old one anymore. And uh, yeah, and in the midst of all that, there was this one particular day. Now this is the most important day in the 1500s. I meet my very first friend. And I remember this day very vividly. My mother had made some pancakes, and they were quite black, dark, and crunchy. They tasted burnt. But there was one particular pancake which was different. It was golden brown. And it stared at me. So I stared right back at it. And the pancake, it just stared right back at me. And I stared right back at it. Me and my pancake, this pancake, we just kept staring at each other. And it did not want me to eat it. It even told me itself. It told me, please don't eat me. So, of course, I was in no rush to eat it. I figured, let's try this friendship thing out. And in this pancake, we did everything together. We played hopscotch, tag, we even played hide and seek. But the pancake, it always won. No matter what, no matter what I hid, it always found me. And yet, when it hid, I could never find it. I have no idea how a pancake can be so good at something like hide and seek. It doesn't even have legs. But there was this one day, this one horrific day, where my mother, she asked me to do errands. She told me to go to the store to grab her stuff. So, me being the good boy that I was, through a complete tantrum. I began screaming and yelling at the top of my lungs. And then she threatened to take away my My Little Pony Basso. And I was in no condition to let her take that away. So, I went to the market. God did the errands for her. And when I came home, our house had been robbed, and my pancake, it was nowhere to be found. So, I cried myself to sleep that night. And the next day, I found my pancake far across the street. And I ran up to it, and I saw the egg had been trampled and completely destroyed. My pancake, my best friend, 
was dead. So I walked up to my mother and I grabbed her and I asked her to make me a new pancake dress. And she said, no. <laughs> and I felt so sad. But then I realized there's these things in the world called restaurants. I could go to a pancake shop and get a new pancake friend. So I grabbed my money, I grabbed my clothes, and I grabbed my mother's money because she refused to give me a new pancake friend. And then I grabbed my clothes again because I forgot to put them on. And then I left to go to a pancake restaurant that could fix my pancake. And I walked with my money, put it at the door of the pancake shop, and asked for them to make me a new pancake friend. And they did. I had a brand new pancake friend. And if there's anything that I learned from this, it's that Having a pancake for a friend is not the best thing you can do. Because they're food and they go moldy. So that's my story. Thank you. Well, off to a great start. Judges, what do you think? I thought it was really original, and you're quite the entertainer, so you, you had me listening right till the end. So, yeah, really good job. I thought you used the, the space on the stage really well, and you had such expressive space that it really drew us into your story. So thank you for that. I like the cake. All right, give it up again for Sebastian Long.